what's going on everybody so basically i'm just making this video um it's kind of a fan video i had a girl write me in my messages and she's explaining a relationship she's uh, about 16 she's been talking to a boy for about two months and she had a lot of questions about her relationship and like advice and all that stuff but in all sincerity with one detail about her relationship i just can't get over it, and i really can't answer none of her questions until this gets fixed um so like I said, she's transgender, she's young, she doesn't even have hormones, nothing. She's very, very new. Um, and she's been talking to this boy for about two months already, and he has no idea or does not even know. Okay, now I'm very aware that this is a, a, a thing, that this happens a lot. Um, a lot of people praise and give me credit for always being so... But, uh, like honest about it and you know I don't tell I don't deceit nobody I don't try to walk around here like I'm biologically born not at all like what the fuck and a lot of people you know they praise me for that but I want to share a story when I first came out and the one and only time I promise you that I lied about it and I promised after that day I would never fucking lie about that shit ever again ever again scared me couldn't even say scared me straight <laughs> but um so yeah, when I first came out, I was just, I was overwhelmed with the feedback that I was getting from the world. Like everybody just thought that I was just the most gorgeous shit popping, how real I looked, all this stuff. And there was this one guy that I had wanted for so long. He always lived in my state and I finally kind of had a chance with him. And at this time I'm kind of like a sophomore in high school. Um, and he was a, of college. You know, so I was like, I never thought I'd have this chance in my life. So I'm really never going to fuck it up and I'm not going to tell him. Okay. So, I mean, other than that being like the most awkward situation you can ever deal with, not having someone know about you, we ended up uh, talking for a little bit. Uh, I got invited to his house. I'm thinking it's just going to be me and him. When I get there and his living room is packed with like six to seven black and puerto rican boys playing on their xbox so i'm like oh my god are we going to be chilling with them he's like no these are just my bros from college this is down to fourth we're going to go upstairs so i'm like okay so we go upstairs at this point the fact that i know that we are not in the house alone i'm already shitting bricks um we go upstairs we talk for maybe like what 10 minutes it didn't get that much longer especially with the outfit i was wearing and he starts you know the touching and all that stuff and I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to get nervous, bitch, because I'm like, yo, he does not know. This can go any way. And he starts to, like, go for my pants. And when that happens, like, I grab his hand and I'm like, wait, wait. And he looks at me and I remember, like, it was yesterday. He goes, oh, don't tell me you're on your period. <laughs> And all I could think is my inner voice is like, oh, honey, if a little blood is all you're worried about, <laughs> what you going to do with these nuts, bitch? Like, <laughs> so I was like, no, no, I'm not on my period. And so he's like, well, let, let's go. What's, what's popping? And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of a tranny. And I remember it like it was a movie. He just like backed up. He like looked at me and he was like, what? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a transsexual. And he just got up and he like paced the room like three times back and forth. And then he looks at me, he's like, so why didn't you say something before? Why didn't you tell me this before? And I literally had no, you know, excuse. I wasn't going to sit there and be like, oh, it's because I like you so much and I didn't want you to walk out on me. So he, the thing that scared me the most was that after that, he said nothing, no words. He just left out the door and I had no idea that his door could lock from the outside, but it can't lock from the inside. So I'm on the inside and all I hear is click, click. I go and I jiggle it and I'm locked in. So I put my ear to it. I hear him go downstairs. I hear him go, yo, yo, turn that off for a second. And they pause the game. I hear him whispering. I don't know exactly what he's saying, but I know he's talking about this. And all of a sudden, I hear like two or three of his boys go, wait, what? What? At that point, I'm like, oh, shit. Grab my wallet. Grab my phone. I'm like, what the fuck can I do? This is a two-story house. I look out his window. There's like the biggest bushes right there. 
What do you think I did, bitch? Jackhammer, Geronimo. Out that bitch. I jumped out, landed freaking face first into them bushes, scratched all my shit up, and I booked my ass on home. Lost a shoe and everything. And from that day forward, I promised myself that I would never, ever, ever for another man, for another piece of cock, lie about who I am. And it honestly is the most freeing feeling ever. And I made this video because she needs to tell this person. It's not fair to him. I am very, very big on believing that everyone should have a choice who they want in their life. If they don't want you in their life because of who you are, fuck it. It is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. It was not meant to be like that. And trust me, we as transsexuals, we think, oh, if I prolong not telling him, he's going to end up talking to me, getting to know me, really starting to like me as a person. Once I do tell him, he's not going to reject me because he's going to be so deep into it. That's the exact opposite of what will happen. It's only going to make things worse. It's only going to make them more angry. They're not going to want to keep talking to you because you've done lied this whole time. You base your relationship off of a lie. And on top of that, honey, you really don't want nobody in your life that you have to fake who you were born anyway. Why have that person around? What do you really need them for? If you can't handle anything that my truth comes with, then honey, you should not be graced with my presence. That's the way I see it. And that's literally how a lot of these killings are happening. A lot of transgenders are getting killed by these dudes in these cars, stuff like that. Because of this, the, the, the lying and the sheltering of who you are. And back, back then, I talk like I'm like 60 years old and I'm only 24. Back then, it really wasn't that publicized or that mainstream to be a transgender. It really wasn't. When I was starting making videos, there wasn't all these people twerking. And like, it's so hard to make videos now because everybody named Mama wants to be a motherfucking celebrity. And everybody named Mama wants to get up in front of the camera and have followers and views and all that shit. So the rat race is way much so much bigger. There's so much more runners now. Like now it's so, the idea is not that, it's not that foreign. It's all over TV. All these rappers are fucking these TS girls. It's all those things. And I told her that I was going to make this video because I didn't want it to come out and she'd be like, wow, you totally like just spilled my tea. Um, but yeah, don't lie about it. The truth will out. And I honestly saw that Everybody that I told, even if they weren't comfortable with it, they still kept me around and we're still friends to this day because of how honest I was and how real I was. And it shows a respect. You know what I'm saying? It shows a respect. And when respect is given, best believe it is returned as well. And vice versa. So don't go walking around here like you're this and that. Honey, tell it what, what it is. And if he can't accept it, fuck it. His loss, honestly. His loss, honestly, because I date nothing but straight guys. I've never dated a gay man. And it's just, just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's simple, darling. Tell the truth. Tell the truth.